15,000 people have tested positive for the virus so far. 737 are currently in the hospital. 820 have lost their lives. State health experts will be keeping a close eye on hospitalizations as the economy starts to open back up. We are currently seeing a positive trend. A week ago, 834 people were in hospitals. It's been declining since and has and is now below 800. It's been there all week. The number of deaths reported each day has also started to fall. 12 deaths were reported April 23rd. We'd been seeing numbers in the double digits since late March, but this week we saw that drop into the single digits. With five deaths on Tuesday, nine Wednesday, that is the last update the state has provided to us. Well, Jamie Larry joins us live tonight at Rose Medical Center in Denver. And Jamie, positive signs, but doctors are starting to see some really unexpected problems with this virus. Well, they're still learning so much about all the symptoms and all the ways the virus can attack the body. Heart issues are among them. And we spoke to a cardiologist here at Rose. He and his colleagues are seeing younger patients than they ever expected, patients in their 30s coming in with chest pain, symptoms of stroke and blood clots. The cardiologist we spoke with says now more, it's more important than ever to pay attention to how you're feeling. One of the more striking patients was somebody in their early 30s who came in with symptoms primarily of heart disease so chest pain went down my arm. It was the result of COVID-19 and something Dr. Sam Mehta has seen more cases of, younger COVID patients with stroke symptoms and blood clots. So this has become a very clotting prone disorder. So blood clots in the legs, blood clots in the lungs. While he's seen the virus also attack the heart muscle, the clotting with the virus is unusual. They're seeing the big arteries that go to our brain are totally blocked. Whether it's something directly from the virus causing our blood to clot or our immune response in the lungs treating this, causing it to clot, we don't know. He's even seen impacts to feet. Which appears to be from very small blood clots in their toes. So just that this virus can affect multiple areas of our body. It's important to be aware of. Blood clots and strokes are occurring in younger COVID patients, but the immediate risk is low. As somebody who still fits in that age group, it doesn't make me walk around and be scared that I'm going to have a stroke tomorrow. Um, but to be very aware that if I'm feeling not normal or I start losing some sense of speech, I need to go to the hospital for that reason. And many hospitals have started advocating for the use of blood thinners early on in the treatment process to help kind of prevent some of those issues that they're seeing with blood clots. But of course, we're continuing to learn more. Live in Denver, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. It is the